This one seems like it might be accessible. It's around a 25, 26, kind of sitting right there in the nickel reading, man. 25 out of the hole. See what we got. Something juicy? Absolutely not, man. There she is right there. 25, ah, how special. Some pull tab action for you guys. Woo-wee. What is going on today, everybody? I just actually jumped out of the water. I was doing a little bit of hunting in the dry sand. I pulled this thing out in the freaking water and I didn't even have any batteries in my GoPro. Or I had a battery in my GoPro, but uh, unfortunately the thing was completely dead. So I just want to give you a quick look at this little guy. I don't think that it's going to be silver or gold, but um, I pulled it out. It was pretty much completely black out of the hole. It was very, very, very faint signal, and I think the only reason I got it is because there's a little tiny pendant on it. It was reading probably like a 10, 11, I think. So honestly, it's probably just like some little junk jewelry, but let me try to give you guys at least a little close up on the thingy there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of cool actually. It's got like some little uh, artificial diamonds, I'm sure, around the top, and then some type of stone there in the middle, it looks like. Pretty nice little uh, necklace though, I guess I would say. But over here, I mean, I might have gotten incredibly lucky or it might just be like brass or something. But look over here on this end of the chain. Try to give you guys a close up again. Probably won't be able to see it, but. I'm sweating all over the place, man. That little end of the chain almost looks gold. So usually if I find a necklace and it's like made out of iron or rust, it will basically be completely all broken up and rusty, but this one doesn't seem to be rusty. So I'm thinking it's probably either gonna be like copper or brass. And the only thing is though, I didn't see any marking on the back. I don't think that there is, but I don't know. We'll have to go home and check that one out a little bit more later on. But for now, uh, I kind of, after I got that out of the water, it kind of became a little bit of a dry streak out here in the water. So I just hopped up in the dry sand and I was getting some signals. So let me bring you guys along real quick, huh? You guys want to do a little bit of metal detecting out here with me? <laughs> All right, everybody. I've been digging quite a few signals. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been struggling a little bit out here, but I'm going to try to at least turn you guys on for a couple of them here. Just got one up here in the dry sand. Sounds kind of like a quarter, but a little bit different. It's a 48, 49. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get a car or something, man. Maybe a silver ring. That would be really, really nice and ideal, but there it is. I saw the edge. All right. Oh, I thought that one was a bicentennial for a second. Just a 2021 ultra shiny. Must be relatively fresh. Yeah, I was searching around in the water too for a little while and I just wasn't really getting many signals so I decided to jump up here in the dry and there's definitely a few more signals up here but, you know, still not a crazy, crazy amount of signals. This one's a 28 right here, probably a pull tab, huh? Is that it? Yep, I think it is, man. Just a rare one though. At least it ain't the plain Jane silver kind, huh? We got the black and pull tab, baby. <laughs> We're on it now, huh? Oh, maybe double pull tab action. There's a 23. 24 next to that other pull tab. I'm sure it's just going to be another one. Man, even the sand is blazing hot on my feet. I forgot my, uh, my water shoes out here again today. It's always a shame, man, when I forget the water shoes. Oh, okay. It's actually the pull tab's long lost cousin, man. The broken freaking zipper pull. Alrighty then, that's not the worst one out here today. I found worse. Found some crusty, rusty iron out here, man. Oh. This one's like an irony signal. Should I dig it up just to see? Let's dig it up. Let's just investigate this baby. Oh, I think that's it right there, actually. Wait, nope, that's a steak. <laughs> there it is. See the rust in the sand? That actually kind of looks like a clothespin thing, doesn't it? It's like the little springy, springy majiggy there. I don't know why a clothespin would be out here. Maybe people brought it out here to hang their clothes to dry or something after a swim. 
but just keep going up here. Oh, 11, very likely some foliage. Oh, there it is too. <laughs> Flung out of the hole. That thing sounded amazing. A little foil seal. I think that's going to be your general goal though. I mean, gold though, I don't know. I'm still a beginner. I don't want to put any false information out there. Gold can honestly just read like all over the place on the target ID, man. I like to dig up the really low numbers because for me at least, those have been like the, that's where the gold has uh, lied for me at least is like in the lower target IDs. But I know definitely the chunkier rings and stuff. This is just an iron signal. I don't know why I'm really going for it. But yeah, the chunkier rings, those babies can definitely read up higher. You know, some similar to even like a modern penny even. All right, I'll try to do one or two more scoops on this baby, get them out. I don't know if I'll be able to, I'm hitting that hard pack. One more, come on. If this ain't it, I'm gonna move on. Oh, it might have been. At least a little piece of it. I think that's it, actually. Is it? I don't know, man. What is it? Uh, let me see. Let me just swing this clump back over my coil, see if this is it. Yep, definitely a little bit of it. It's just some iron, some concretion iron of some type. It might even be like a hot rock or something, man. I don't know if we have those down here. Maybe? <laughs> I'll give it a solid maybe on that one. Let's keep it live here for a second though. Try to smack on a couple more live. I'm honestly about ready to call it. I've been out here for like two hours, so I wanna at least try to, you know, get something out here, man, live. This one's really bouncy, 23 through like 25. Probably a pull tab again, 24. Nope, a little bit different, I think. All right, maybe not even as good as a pull tab. The ultra foil seal right there. I'm definitely uh, I'm about ready for a drink though. <laughs> Dehydration is uh, setting in, man. All right, I literally see something right on the surface. It's reading a 22, 21. What is that? Holy moly. Holy moly, dude. <laughs> Look at that thing. That thing must be freshly dropped because that's got to be a junker, man. Holy. I'm literally sweating all over my camera. <laughs> that's probably one of the biggest stones I've ever seen. Is that my two carat diamond, baby? Is that the two carat diamond I've been looking for? They must have taken it off up here too because it's got the backing still on it. So that's why I do like hunting the dry, honestly. A lot of people seem to take their jewelry off, man, before they even get in the water anymore. Mostly just iron around here though. Okay, that's not too bad. Got a decent one right there. What else though? Anything else? All right, we got another one right here. Sounds kind of small, but it's like a 28 through 30. Let's see. Still in the hole, maybe? Almost doesn't sound as good now. Sounds like I'm almost starting to lose it, maybe. Huh. Alright, I think it's still in the hole. I'm just kind of, I'm missing it maybe. Twenty-nine thirty, almost out. Okay, over here. Sounds a little bit scratchy though, a little funky. But it definitely sounds smaller, so it's going to probably be something tiny. Where are you, little buddy? There it is, just saw it. Okay, <laughs> something that's not significant by any means, but I think it's like a little bead. I found a couple of those out here before. Just a little, uh, you know, unsignificant find. Maybe one tenth of a piece of jewelry, I'd like to call it, hey? <laughs> I think I did just get another one over here too, though. Where did it go? Maybe not. 
Okay, it's just like a little tiny piece of scrap foil. Look at that though, man. It was hitting on that thing. <laughs> Pretty good for the old legend, huh? All right, a couple more, man. A couple more. All right, guys. I don't know if I've ever drained one of my uh, metal detectors batteries this low. Literally, my legend has zero bars on it. I don't know if you can see that, but... I'm going to try to maybe detect until the thing completely runs out. I want to get at least a couple more signals out here. I just took a short break and uh, yeah, it would be nice to score on at least one or two more before the thing shuts down, but this might be it. I'm not entirely sure yet. All right, we're in good hands right here. I got one. It's a 1516. I think I see it right on the surface actually. Pretty sure it's just some scrap, man. But we got at least one. Can we get two? Maybe three? Piece of a can. Looks like an old Coca-Cola can, man. It ain't all treasure out here, that's for sure, right? I think a lot of you guys who have metal detected kind of know that by now. This one kind of sounds like a bolt ad, maybe nickel. 25, 26. Uh, maybe a little bigger, actually. Now it's a little bouncy, 30s. Oh, there it is, I think. What is that? Just another piece, man. <laughs> That's the other piece of can slaw, huh? Looks like, that one actually looks like it was probably down in the deeper layer at some point. So, we're at least cleaning up the beach a little bit before we gotta head out, right? <laughs> one less signal we'll have to dig let or next time we're out here, you know? That's what I like to think, especially spots that I hit like a lot, pretty often. It's like, why not dig pretty much everything, right? So you don't have to dig it again, man, next time. Huh, this one might be a bottle cap. A little bit funky, man. Oh, there it goes. It just literally died on me, man. Just died, so this is gonna be it if we can even get it out. I think that was it right there actually, man. I think I showed you guys this thing. This is what I found today out here. I showed you this at the beginning beginning of the video. Still not sure about that chain. Honestly, it kind of looks gold, but it's probably gonna be like brass or copper or something. But that pendant on there is pretty dang nice. I'll give it that. Got some little stones in there. But let me show you guys what I found on the previous couple hunts. These two were with the legend right here, and these were literally right next to each other. Probably some of the cheapest rings I've seen in a while, huh? Like the adjustable ones right there. That one I think is like a butterfly, and then this one Destiny said it looks like maybe a leaf with a ladybug on it. So that was like two rings pretty much right next to each other, but as you guys can see there, that's like uh, definitely copper, or just junk, adjustable ring, you know, out of like a gumball machine, but a ring's a ring, baby. These, these guys I found at a different beach. It wasn't even at this beach. And then I found this guy right here. I don't think I'll make a video because it was a short hunt, but I met, um, what's his name? I think his name is Jeff from, let me think, what was his channel name, man? Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, 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 Commander, Commander Jank, maybe? Something like that. I met him out there at the beach and he was killing it, man. He had five rings by the time I had got up there. I didn't know him before. We didn't plan to meet up. I just, we saw each other up there and he came up to me and started sparking up a conversation. So after he left, I scored one ring. I didn't have any when uh, we first met up, but I got a ring out there too, baby. So right now we got like three rings in our, in our pouch. I don't think any of them were from today, but we got at least a couple signals out here, so. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching as always, man. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hook it up with a thumbs up for me. I always appreciate it, and I'd love to be swinging some more, but I guess it's time to go charge the old legend, man. We'll be out here before too long. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you very soon.